Hey YouTube, welcome to this video on the Depfa A141 2 VC ADSR. Uh, yeah, I was asked to do a little demo, so here it is. And yeah, let's first look at the panel. We have four um, indiv uh, manual controls here for attack, decay, sustain, and release, as well as four input jacks for each of those parameters with an attenuator each. Um, by default, the attack time is um, or CV attack time is normalized to the decay time and the decay to the release time here. Um, yeah, we have a three-way switch here for the range of the envelope. We have a common CV input that controls attack, decay, and release time altogether. We have a gate input for triggering the ADSR. We have a retrigger input that retriggers the in, uh, envelope. But yeah, we can mention that it doesn't go back to zero here. It just uh, restarts the attack phase from where it is at that moment. Um, we have a fixed output, just a normal output. We have inverted output. And we have this variable output that uh, is controlled by the level CV going in above. And on the back of the module, you can choose if this uh, uh, VCA acts as a normal VCA or as a polarizing VCA. Um, so with the polarizing VCA, you can also get negative voltages from here. So yeah, that was the panel. And um, next, we're going to look at the end of tech and end of release uh, outputs and see how we can use those to uh, put it in LFO mode or to cycle the uh, envelope. Okay, so for that I made this little drawing here. So the end of attack is on low uh, when the envelope is not running and uh, first goes high when the attack phase ends, then is high until uh, the gate is released and the release begins. And the end of release is uh, high at any time when the envelope is not running and goes to low in the decay and release phase and goes high again when the envelope drops below uh, 0 0.1 volts. And yeah, you can use those to let the um, envelope cycle on its own. Uh, for that you can either plug the end of release straight into the gate. You can already see it cycling here. And uh, yeah, in this mode uh, it, it's going from the attack phase straight to the release phase. Yeah, so actually only two, uh, those two parameters are really important. Um, but uh, yeah, there's also the possibility to get the end of release into the retrigger input, but you'll need an external gate in then. So, okay, I'm gonna turn the gate on. Oh, no, it's already, it already is, but um, yeah, what's important here now is that we have to um, put the sustain level to zero, because otherwise it won't uh, retrigger. And now attack and decay time are the important parameters here. This of course has the um, advantage that you can turn on and off your um, yeah, the cycling of the of the envelope um, with the external gate, so it's not running all the time. Um, yeah, that was this and. Uh, Next, I'm gonna show you how to um, how to use those um, inputs here to shape the wave or the envelope. Okay, so um, I hooked up the oscilloscope to the VCA here, cycling, and yeah, we have this uh, logarithmic attack here and this uh, exponential decay. And if we want to change that, say uh, change from from logarithmic to linear over to exponential. Or, uh, or vice versa on the decay from exponential to linear to uh, to logarithmic. Uh, we're gonna have to use the inverted output here on the CVA input, and um, the fixed output on the decay. Otherwise, you'd just be turning the attack uh, even more logarithmic or the d decay even more uh, exponential. So, uh, yeah, bear with me as I'm trying to readjust the times so that it's syncing up with the uh, oscilloscope, but yeah, I'll give my best.
Okay, as you can see, that's uh, like a linear attack. Maybe if I... Okay. Yeah, I, you can see that quite nicely, I think. Okay, now trying to dial in some uh, linear decay. Yeah, that's a quite convincing triangle, I guess. But yeah, you can also go beyond that. Okay, so now we have a logarithmic um, decay. Okay, that's how you shape the um, envelope. And next up, there'll be some sound examples. Okay, so first is the sound of the envelope itself. Okay, next up, uh, the envelope is controlling um, an exponential VCA. Okay, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, demo, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe, of course, and um, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.